One of the really neat features in Heritage Maker Studio is being able to import a page from one project to another project. So this little tutorial is going to show you exactly how to do that and how to make it work and how to do it just right. What I have here is I have a 12 by 12 canvas poster that I loved the layout of and I want to put that into an 8 by 8 book. I want to make that the cover of my 8 by 8 book. Instead of recreating this whole entire canvas poster layout, I'm going to be able to just import that quickly into my project. So the first thing you need to do is find whatever page it is that you want to copy from and make sure that it's in your either in progress folder or your completed folder. I found this page in the template gallery and uh, when I selected it out of the template gallery it put it into my templates. I clicked on start my own and it put it in my in progress folder. Now what I can do is I can go into my current uh, project and this is how we're going to import this into my page. So there's a couple of things that you want to be aware of. Make sure that you understand resolution because if you take a 12 by 12 um, layout and try to put it into anything smaller then it's going to work just fine. If I try to take my 12 by 12 layout or I try to take an 8 by 8 layout say and try to go any bigger it will not go any any bigger because of resolution so I'm going to show you that in just a, just one moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my tabs down here at the bottom and find my projects go to my unfinished projects and that canvas poster is called HM thankful for you it's only got one one page on it so I'm just gonna click on that and what it does is it shows me all of the elements that are on that page okay all of the background papers embellishments and the picture what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on import page and import all of the items from this page the way that they were laid out and I'm going to put them into my into my book project. Over here on the right hand side you can see where it is that you're going to, going to select that and where you want that to go and I want that to be on my front cover of my book. Okay, So I'm going to make sure that I'm on the front cover I'm going to come down here to this particular project and I'm going to click on import page. Now notice um, that there are a few uh, notes that it gives you if the page is coming from an existing template, your project will be flagged as an existing template. You won't be able to create this as a template, and you won't be able to submit it as a template. You can also not undo this action after you've imported this, and it will also replace all of the items that are already on the page. So if I had anything that I had laid out here, and then I wanted to add this like down in the corner or anything, Anything that is already on my page is going to be erased as soon as I import this page. So make sure that you note those things. So to fit all the items into my new project, um, we're going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Yes, Import This Page. Now notice what happens here. My little book was, was 8 by 8. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. My little book is an 8 by 8 size and I'm transferring from a 12 by 12 canvas so it goes really really big. So what I need to do is I need to go over into my tools and I need to click on edit and select all. Now most templates and most projects are locked so I need to unlock it first, unlock that item. Now since I've said select all, they're all they're all linked together. They're all selected together. Now I can shrink it down and I can bring that project down into where I want it to go. They're all still all locked together until I click that I don't want them locked together anymore, okay? So now I can move this around and make it, you know, anywhere I want it to go. I can hit uh, lock again and it locks everything again. All I have to do is just kind of click away and it will unselect all. If I, if I click on the edit button and say select all, it selects all. All I have to do is click somewhere else. Now here is my layout. It came from my other project. I dumped it right in here into this project. Now another thing I want to point out is over here on the right hand side in the manage pages, notice how when I imported this in here, the thumbnails don't update automatically. If I want to make sure that these thumbnails are updating, I want to click my Save button. As soon as I click Save, notice how it updates that little, that little section right there. 
So now what I have is all these different elements. I can click on this photo. I can drag and drop my own photo in and, and swap it out. Also, I can trade the elements around a little bit by unlocking each individual element. I can move them around and change them however I want to if I decide that I want to do that. Um, so that's how you import a page. Now another thing that I want you to, to keep aware of is when you do import this page, when you hit select all, all of these stay very proportional. I want to unlock them again and show you. They all stay proportional and that's something that's really important to, to keep a note of. If you, um, if you press your shift key down, you can change the proportions. You can, you can make them skewed. You, you want to make sure that you don't do that if that's not the look that you're going for. You just want to make sure that you select all and, and keep them all proportional. Also, sometimes if you're taking, I, I took a, you know, a square format to a square format. I took a 12 by 12 um, layout and put it on an 8 by 8 page. If I was trying to import this into a 7 by 10, then the proportions would not lay out so, so nicely for me and I would have to kind of rearrange things. So make a note of the proportions and definitely make sure that you're, that you're doing the sizing correct. And what I mean by the sizing is if I were to take this page, let's say this was created on a 5x5 five five card and I were to try to upload it to a 12x12 12 12 page, I'm going to greatly increase the size of all the elements and the pictures and the papers and everything. You have to make sure that when you do import a page that you always go bigger to smaller or that you stay with the same size. If you copy an 8x8 then you then you make it an 8 in an 8x8 in something a, another project. If you don't then you need to make sure that you check each and every one of the little embellishments and make sure that they are coming through at the right resolution. A green line around your elements and pictures means it's okay to print and so does a yellow line but the minute you get into orange or red, your features, um, your embellishments, and your pictures are going to be very pixelated. So now I can just lock all these elements again. I can hit select all and I can lock all these elements and there I've got my page. So now if I wanted to move on to any other pages, I could import from any project I wanted to. Anything that is in my current projects or completed projects, I can um, I can import from. So importing pages saves you so much time and it's so easy to do and so fun to do because you can copy from fantastic templates or previous pages that you have done that you really really loved. So thanks for tuning in to this tutorial and I hope you have an amazing time importing pages.